So for today, we're going to be talking about the new weapons from Dares of Eternity. I'm not going to be doing all the all the weapons in one big video. I'm going to do them in separate videos just so people can see. Not only that, uh, Dares of Eternity is for the free to play. So it's more of a just I, I think it's just easier and more simpler. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe it really does help the channel grow. Also, the usual spiel, people who don't who people who come to my channel and watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe it really does help the channel grow. If you don't like me in a month, you can unsubscribe, blah, 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 blah. Other than that, let's just get right into the weapons. For the first weapon we're going to be looking at is Pardon Our Dust. It's a legendary kinetic grenade launcher, which is pretty cool. We need more kinetic grenade launchers and it is a lightweight frame so you will be going faster with this for the perks themselves i'm pretty on the fence of so let's just get right into the perks for the first row we're, we're going to be looking at killing wind ambitious assassin auto loading holster pulse monitor ensemble and perpetual motion and as always guys if we have new perks i will have them at the bottom of the video so that way you guys can actually see what they do uh, for the second row, it's going to be Adrenaline Junkie, Rampage, Demolitionist, Danger Zone, Vorpal Weapon, and Wellspring. So, I ended up getting a Spike Grenade, Auto Loading Holster, and Wellspring loadout, which I think is pretty cool. Definitely helps with the, how the game is right now with abilities being really bad. So, that could be a really good loadout for getting your abilities back fast. And since it has Auto Loading Holster, you can just shoot it and then take out your primary and once you hear the proc bring it out again i actually do think that's a really cool uh, combination and obviously you're going to want spike grenades for pretty much everything uh aside from like blinding nades and uh i think this one has it concussion grenades that's also really good for pve uh more so for ad control more than anything else but again really good uh for the perks themselves you're gonna be for pvp i would probably tell you perpetual motion and either wellspring demolitionist or vorpal weapon personally uh vorpal weapon obviously uh you you'll be able to take down guardians in their super faster although i don't know how useful it would be in a grenade launcher but there it is for PvE, I think the best loadout would probably be Spike Grenades, Auto Loading Holster, and Vorpal Weapon. Granted, Grenade Launchers right now are not like high in, in the meta for PvE, so for me, it would just be more of a, I'm just going to keep it and wait until P Grenade Launchers are meta, because this actually might be really dope. Again, uh, Auto Loading Holster with Vorpal Weapon would be really cool, because uh, you can literally shoot the weapon and then go to where your heavy shoot that and then when you hear a proc shoot it again It's gonna be pretty interesting to see so that would be my PV PVE god roll for PvP That's where it gets really hard Like I said perpetual motion and like wellsprings pretty cool because of how PvP is right now the energy the ability Usage is really low, so Wellspring could be really cool. Demolitionist is also a good one because you can get uh, grenade energy back and you could get a free reload when you throw your grenade. Uh, I would probably stay away from Rampage and Adrenaline Junkie just because in PvP specifically, I don't see the the, the big necessity for these two. Uh, Danger Zone, I will stay away from that like the plague. I just don't think it's a good perk. So that's pretty much it for this weapon. Let me know what you guys think about Pardon Our Dust. It's a pretty cool weapon. I actually do like it a lot, but the perks are just kind of odd in my opinion. The next weapon is gonna be Wastelander M5. It is a shotgun in the kinetic slot and a lightweight frame as well. So if you do not have a God Roll Reese Walker, this is definitely a good substitute. And for the perks, honestly, these are some pretty good perks for the shotgun. So for the first row, it's gonna be Ensemble, Subsistence, Dual Loader, Lead from Gold, Perpetual Motion, Slide Shot. For the last row, it's gonna be Harmony, Killing Wind, One-Two Punch, Opening Shot, Trench Barrel, and then Adagio. So let's look at the new perk that I should have, should have done for Pardon Our Dust. Perpetual motion. This weapon gains bonus stability, handling, and reload speed while the wielder is in motion. So, for PvP, you have a few options actually. For the for the first thing I would probably do, and the one that everyone had probably thought of, is slide shot and opening shot. It's obviously going to be a really good pairing uh, because once you slide, you activate uh, the boost in range and stability, and range uh, opening shot automatically gives you a bonus on accuracy and range on the first shot so obviously these two are like classic but bread and butter but 
I think perpetual motion sh could actually be the play as well only because it increases your handling and reload stability is nice but not really needed on single shot weapons handling though will bump it up by a lot so perpetual motion don't sleep on it uh try it out i d i have one with perpetual motion and one two punch but the one that i would probably go for is either perpetual motion or slide shot and opening shot or killing wind i think those two would be really good uh for pve lead frame gold and one two punch i'm not even going to think about it honestly uh i think those two are going to pair well lead from gold you're going to be getting ammo from heavy bricks and one two punch you're going to be able to kill shit faster with one two punch obviously all of these pvp pve doesn't matter what build you're going for you're going to want assault mag it's just going to be better overall and for the for the barrels i usually never cover barrels but i feel full choke is going to be the play here i know people have been saying other reviewers have been saying that maybe you want to get something that increases your your range a little bit more but i feel like full choke is just going to be better overall and honestly like you're using a shotgun so most of the time you should be using it when you're super super close so for me i don't really usually care about range unless it's like range uh, perks so the barrel's always going to be, be full choke is what i'm saying so this is definitely a cool shotgun i definitely love it the reload animation is super sexy and if you do not have a god rolled reese walker i definitely tell i would i would recommend this shotgun easily like i'm not even it's not it's not a hard thing to do so next weapon is going to be the bxr 55 this is the halo br essentially it is a pulse rifle in the energy slot and it has a unique frame at least i haven't seen it uh, customized frame with dramatically increased accuracy stability and targeting while firing uh, hip firing so obviously when while you're hip firing you're going to be actually be able to hit your shots because it's it's just heavy into hip fire for the perks themselves are pretty interesting uh, we'll go with the first row outlaw killing wind auto loading holster perpetual motion demolitionist and snipe shot sites for the first row for the second row it's going to be blunt execution rounds Eye of the Storm, Kill Clip, Adrenaline Junkie, Elemental Capacitor, and Range Finder. So, blunt execution rounds. Damaging nearby combatants with melee abilities dramatically increase handling and damage. Expires after a short duration or the next shot. This is essentially a watered, not watered down version, but also easier version of uh, the punch one. I forget, Swashbuckler, there we go. Because you don't have to get a kill with a melee ability, and the uh, the bonus is only there for a short duration or the next shot i haven't used this yet i have one with snapshot sites and blunt execution rounds but i haven't used it just because i've been enjoying my perpetual motion and kill clip roll a lot so i can't really speak upon blunt execution rounds if you do know let me know in the comments below but well i'll just have to wait and see you for pve honestly a uh, demolitionist and adrenaline junkie seems pretty cool because adrenaline junkie you don't need to use a grenade to activate adrenaline junkie anymore which is great but if you do use a grenade launcher to activate adrenaline junkie it works the same way as swashbuckler where when you punch something it gives you the the full stack immediately so i would probably do that those two those two are pretty interesting and that's pretty much it i mean killing wind's pretty nice and i would probably pair killing wind with kill clip but at that point that's like a pve or pve uh weapon right there i've been enjoying perpetual motion and kill clip a lot like a ridiculous amount personally so that's one i would probably recommend uh i know people are going to be saying uh, elemental capacitor is pretty cool or eye of the storm those are very niche in my opinion in my opinion so that's why i'm not really recommending them uh, another pretty good one or pretty cool one would be snapshot sights and rangefinder although this weapon really excels in hip fire so snapshot sights may not be the play and same thing with rangefinder you got you have to actually look like aim your weapon so these two are like outliers because this weapon's gonna be used hip fire hip fired a lot but i mean not all the time i'm i'm not doing that all the time personally so that's pretty much it for this weapon uh again demolitionist and adrenaline junkie would probably be the play for pve for pvp i would probably do killing wind and or yeah killing wind and kill clip uh per perpetual motion and kill clip i have that and i really really love it 
and the really cool thing is if you have two weapons with perpetual motion that actually they actually stack and what i mean by that is let's say my bxr 55 has a stack of perpetual motion times two if i switch to my wastelander m5 that also has perpetual motion then it stays which is really cool so i might actually do a build with that because it's very well it's not even a build but we'll see let me know what you guys think about the bxr 55 it's pretty fun i'm enjoying the shit out of it but yeah let's get on to the next weapon next weapon is gonna be retraced path it is our first trace rifle legendary trace rifle if you guys haven't have, don't hear it from my voice i'm actually really excited for this we need legendary trace rifles and i'm very excited to have this one it is a solar legendary trace rifle so for those of you who are interested uh perks look pretty cool i'm not really a perk person so you guys will have to tell me if they're good or bad they look fine to me personally but i'm I'm, I don't know. I could be wrong. For the first row, we're going to be looking at Genesis, Perpetual Motion, Shoot to Loot, Subsistence, Killing Wind, and Feeding Frenzy for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Disruption Break, Harmony, One for All, Golden Tricorn, Frenzy, and Demolitionist. So this being our first Legendary Trace Rifle, I see a lot of perks that I immediately have my interest. Uh, disruption Break immediately the first thing i thought it was like this actually seems like it'd be fucking nasty to use it with uh shoot to loot seems pretty interesting just because this is a special so you're definitely going to want to use shoot to loot uh perpetual motion immediately i'm like I, I think i'm falling in love with this uh perk uh subsistence is going to be super fun with this as well it's basically going to be uh, a legendary version of the other solar the Prometheus lens, it's essentially going to be a smaller version of that with if you pair it with subsistence. Uh, Golden Tricorn. Final blows with this weapon grant bonus damage while this buff is active. Grenade and melee kills of the same damage type greatly increases its damage and duration. This definitely has my interest. I think subsistence and Golden Tricorn is the play for this. Specifically, if you're using a solar subclass as well, you're going to be double dipping for, for that. Oh my God. This already has my attention. Uh, again, Disruption Break seems super dope. Perpetual Motion, I'm already in love with. I already said this. Uh, the only ones I'm like not really in the mood for is One For All. One For All, I think, is just such a not bad perk but i just don't like it personally uh frenzy is another one of those where it's not bad but i personally just don't like it but it is growing on me i do have a few weapons with it and i'm like kind of starting to like like it i think it's just more like frenzy is wonky to proc the other cool one is demolitionist i think subsistence and demolitionist will be very interesting but if you want to be like if you want to know my honest thoughts subsistence and golden tricorn are the ones that i'm like really eyeing really hard uh, i love perpetual motion but i feel like for this one it's going to be such a uh add clear monster just because of the substance you're going to be getting constant ammo back because you're killing stuff but because of golden tricorn you're going to be doing more damage with it so that's going to be the play for this uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below i didn't even say this but this weapon is from halo apparently uh i'm not a halo fan i didn't grow up with halo so i don't know much about halo but I do know what weapon this is because I did play the Halo Infinite multiplayer. So I know what weapon this is and it's pretty cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Next up is Half Truths. Uh, I'm going to go through these two fast because they're basically the same sword with different perks and different burns. But it's pretty cool because I think it's Half Truths, the one that I actually really like. So it is an adaptive frame just in case you guys are wondering. I was hoping for these weapons to be kind of like unique to have their own like frame that's very unique to them but they're not unfortunately so for the first row it's going to be duelist trance thresh tireless blade and relentless strikes for the first row for the second row it's going to be eager edge uh, assassin's blade on guard and harmony so i'm pretty sure duelist duelist trance is new maybe i'm going to say it. so sword final blows grant increased charge rate efficiency and defense until this weapon is stowed i'm pretty sure this one's new and i know edge e eager edge is new gain increased sword lunge distance immediately after switching to this weapon this weapon came in very clutch for my for the dungeon the new dungeon i forget what the uh grasp of avarice uh 
it came in really clutch clutch for that because it was it was helpful to like not die and just do it really fast i'll show a little bit of it right now but it's really cool i really do like an eager edge i definitely think it's gonna get nerfed though because people are already cheesing the shit out of it with certain things titans can do really crazy stuff with it um and i'm pretty sure hunters can do some pretty crazy stuff with it too so this is probably gonna get nerfed which is probably gonna make me really sad uh for pvp you're probably not gonna use this, this sword there's other better swords out there if i'm being quite honest for pve i would probably tell you relentless strikes and harmony maybe i uh, for if it's if it doesn't have like relentless strike and like a damage perk that's not harmony then you're pretty much not going to use a sword it's cool i think i think eager edge eager edge is really cool very interesting i very much like it but yeah you're definitely not going to use this a lot same thing with the other sword although the other sword does have a few more damage perks so let's look at that one the other half which is also an adaptive frame the perks on it is eager edge energy transfer relentless strikes duelist trans for the last row it's going to be whirlwind blade surrounded forpal weapon and frenzy so the problem with uh this whole sword in general is the fact that like out of all of the damage perks that it has i think surrounded might be the only one that's actually viable because whirlwind blade did actually get a nerf uh, also vorpal weapon got a nerf and frenzy i just don't think would be good in a sword and surrounded you just need to be surrounded most of the time you will be surrounded with the sword uh for me personally i would probably stick to relentless strikes and whirlwind blade just because that's just something i know how to do maybe vorpal weapon although i don't know the percentages off the top of my head for each of these uh damage perks but vorpal weapons probably the most simplest one because it's just active all the time granted it lost five percent but at the same time you really don't have to do anything with it like it's always active and it works with bosses vehicles and guardians so i don't know the whirlwind blade is nice because it works with everything but you have to get up to that stack for it to be really good and surrounded you have to have three or more enemies around you to actually proc it so for me vorpal is just the easiest one just because it's effortless so that's it those are your weapons for the dares of eternity let me know what you guys think in the comments below i am loving these weapons these weapons are fucking amazing like legitimately really good and this is the free portion of it so good on you bungie for actually giving free to play stuff actually really good stuff because uh yeah it's not like that usually so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media i'll link things in the description below the next video is probably going to be either fashion related or the the uh, grasp of avarice weapons i will be going through those as well not only that i did do the solo flawless re so i will not only post my run up there but i will also post uh a guide on it of how to solo it and the solo flawless so i have a bunch of content coming up so be safe and i'll see you guys later